So we teach things to kids and we teach them because they can learn. Oh my God, have you heard this phrase once? Oh, kids' brains are amazing. They're like sponges. Have you ever tried to teach anything to a sponge? It is impossible <laughs> to get it. Jump to the hoop. Jump, jump to the hoop. You're the worst sponge I've ever trained. Uh, it's all thing about how okay, it's so easy for kids to learn because they're like they're young minds and then you get older and it's very difficult to learn. Of course it's easy for children to learn because everything is new when you're a child and amazing, right? When you're a kid, it's like, oh, mountains explode and lava pumps out or there's a planet with a ring around it or there's a horse in Africa with a really long neck. Everything is fantastic. Then you get old and nothing is new. It's just tiny variations of shite you've already heard of. <laughs> By the way, in the great eternal question of who's young and who's old, is 40 the new 20 and all this guff, right? Here's old. Have you got a pension? You're old. That is where we draw the line. <laughs> right? Not just because you're planning for the future and it's not all just about now, but mainly if you've got a pension, you once sat in a room with a bloke with a load of folders in front of him who went, I believe you want a pension. And you went, oh, OK, I'll get a pension. Right, and he went, what kind of pension do you want? And you went, Jesus, there are kinds of pension. <laughs> and that is grown-up life in a nutshell. Shit you didn't care of comes in a million different varieties. Right? <laughs> I remember with a picture falling off a wall in my house and me going, oh, God, I better get a nail. And going into a hardware store going, I need a nail. And the guy going, great, what kind of nail? There are kinds <laughs> of nail. And the guy said, of course there are kinds of nail. What kind of wall is it? There are kinds <laughs> of wall? I said, of course there are kinds of wall. What does the wall do in your house? It stops people from seeing me have a poo. <laughs> do you have a nail for that kind of wall? I think we can stretch to that. Grown-up life is either tiny variations of stuff you don't care about or stuff you wish you didn't have to know, but now you're a grown-up, so you have to know it. Like the first time any of us learned that trainers, runners, sneakers, whatever you want to call them, are stitched by eight-year-old children in Indonesia. And you hear this and you go home. This is not funny. <laughs> I cannot believe you laughed at the build-up in that particular <laughs> joke. The heart-wrenching story of child labour in another part. I'm going to do that again, and you better have a long think. You better have a long think about what you want. The first time you ever hear that trainers, runners, sneakers are stitched by eight-year-old children in Indonesia, and you go home and look at your own eight-year-old and go, look, at the quality of work that these <laughs> children <laughs> Compared to the shit you're bringing back from that school. <laughs> the money I'm spending on your education, for what? A rocket made out of tubes. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? I can run in these. Do you see that, do you? <laughs> Make me a shoe and I will put it on the fridge. Do we understand each other? <laughs> and you do, because grown up life is all about the high cost of things, right? And knowing the high cost and people queuing up to tell you the high cost of things. Like in everything, every want you express, oh, I think I might get a cat. Oh, immediately. Oh, do you know how many animals a cat kills in the area around your house? No. I think I might need a hamburger. Do you know how many acres of rainforest are cleared to grow the grain to feed the cattle for your hamburger? No, God. <laughs> well, I think I might pinch my secretary's arse. No, it makes her unhappy. Oh, God. <laughs> but you do, you learn this stuff because you're a grown up and you want to grow up, and this is what is part of being grown up. Like, whatever. I'm going to give you another buzzkill. Just for the sheer hell of it, I'm going to give you another buzzkill. Just at the point where we're all having a bit of fun. We collectively, and again, this is not a gag, we collectively are running out of helium, right? Because you can't make helium, you can't manufacture helium. Helium is a, like it's a noble gas. So you just find it underground when people go mining and you hold on to it really carefully when you bring it up. Because if you let go of it, it fucks off into space. That is how <laughs> light he 
helium is. Helium, vump, achieves escape velocity and then it's gone. And we can't use it for the things we use helium for, right? Which would be like MRI scanners and things like that, right? Which means, where's my young friend? My young friend here, I'm just gonna bring him in. My young 22 year old friend, right? At some point, right, when you're a lot older, I'll be dead, I'll be long gone, my friend. But you, at some point, you're gonna go to the doctor in like 60 years time, which is when this crisis is gonna really kick in. And you're gonna go to the doctor and go, I need, I need an MRI, I need an MRI. And the doctor's gonna go, oh, do you? Oh, do you need an MRI? Is that what you need? Is this? You need an MRI? You need an MRI? Do you need an MRI? Right? Let me tell you about your MRI thing. Let me do you remember the day you were at the beach when you were a little lad? Do you remember the day you were at the beach and you're eating your ice cream and you go, yum, 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 oh, lick, 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 yum, 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 a special balloon that you had to tie around your wrist because it kept bobbing away from you. And you spent all day looking up at SpongeBob going, this is the best balloon I've ever had. Do you remember that? Well, that was the last of the fucking helium. 